Hello and welcome back. In the previous videos, I told you about uh, the pre-training strategies of used in BERT. The first one is called as mask language modeling. The first one is mask language modeling. And uh, the second one is next sentence prediction. So these are the two pre-training strategies that's used in BERT. And uh, we are now going to discuss about these things. So let us now first discuss about the mask language modeling. Uh, but before understanding mask language modeling, we need to uh, know what basically language modeling is. We need to understand what language modeling is. And after understanding language modeling, we will go into mask language modeling and understand what language mask language modeling is. So first of all, language modeling. Uh, language modeling is nothing but given a set of uh, words, you need to predict the next word. Uh, that is that is basically called as language modeling. For example, <coughs> here I have a sentence called Paris is a yeah, beautiful Paris is a beautiful and then we have a blank and then I have the uh, sentence I love Paris all right now now language modeling is nothing but given these words it needs to predict what should be filled up what should be filled in this blank so this is basically called as language modeling and this language modeling can be classified into two types okay so the first type is something called as auto regressive auto regressive language modeling i'll just write lm for language modeling auto regressive uh, language modeling and the second one is called as auto auto encoding language modeling okay so first of all what is auto regressive language modeling auto regressive language modeling is nothing but given an input sentence it is it is going to read the sentence either in one direction it can be either the forward direction which is from left to right or in the backward direction which is from right to left uh, for example, here if, if we use auto regressive language modeling, then it is going to read Paris is a uh, beautiful and then we have the blank. So given these four, four words, it has to predict this word. All right. So it will predict city. So uh, this is forward, uh, forward, forward prediction in auto, auto regressive language modeling. If we use the backward prediction, then it is going to read from the backward. It is going to read Paris, love and I and given these three uh, words it is going to predict what the blank is uh, so this is how the auto regressive language modeling works and now the auto encoding language modeling is bidirectional so i can write unidirectional here so this is unidirectional it can it can it can either uh, read the sentence in forward direction or the backward direction uh, so it's unidirectional but uh, the auto encoding language modeling here is bidirectional so it is it is capable of reading the sentence in both the sides right in the both the directions so because of the fact that the auto encoding language modeling uh, reads the sentence in both the directions it is able to give better results to us and uh, bert is is basically an auto encoding language modeling so now that we understood that uh, what language modeling is and how bert uses auto encoding language modeling in the next video i am going to dive deep into how mask language modeling works so until that, please stay tuned and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.